my mate here was like that. <laughs> I was like, I like Alice so much. Like a business partner. Zero. <laughs> I met him a while ago. They were now whereas I was still in the same estate again, so now besides we come from. Now I used to go out a lot. He now stopped calling me one time. I saw him on the road one time. Now he's my brother, so I'm not asking. Like, how come we don't talk anymore? And I said because me, I don't know how to show gratitude. Gratitude. And I said, ah, like, how do you mean gratitude? I said every time we went out, I never said, I never like you know, said thank you after. I was just, I was just carrying my bag and leave. I must say, ah, ah, but even like that too, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, ah, sorry, because I'm not even, I'm not even the cool, go to the club, you buy me a whole bottle of champagne, I was like, okay, okay, maybe I fuck up, I say sorry, it's all yes, like, nice to say, say hi, hi. Yes, I had a nice time, yes, yes, like, I do with friends, actually, eh, I do with friends too, like, if I go out with friends, yeah. I would just be like, yeah, I had a great time, and I thought, I used to feel like I'm very, like, I'm very appreciative, so when you said that, I'm just like, ah, that means I'm not really who I think I am, <laughs> so I should apologize, then, now, 40, what, 40, Sheesh. 45? No, 43. My heart. This is why I don't stick shish now. I have this Korean actor that I really like on Bill. Every, every time my friend says he's old, he's 44. I'm mm. like, what do you mean old? And now you just said 43 and I did shish. <laughs> I oldest 33. I lean more towards my age. Age mates. Yeah. I don't know why. See, Nigerian men are very funny. That's why I started telling you now that you're not respectful. See now, say you cannot show gratitude. Like you, girl. I'm not like, like, even with my age mates, you probably just be like, you this girl, I'll take you this girl. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, just play it over me. Because I don't even take this seriously. I probably, I probably have just been like, oh, yeah, sorry, you, I did not know. But the way you say, I'm just like, actually, that's why you stop calling me or anything. <laughs> yeah, so that anyway, I'm inside. You're not like, calling this children of these days. Oh, I'm sure I was okay with you, but I was just like, this true children. <laughs> Every time he goes out and he sees like Jesse Poo, he'll be like, I saw you can I saw you people today. I almost like fish people. I saw you people that have kiss. I'm almost like, breathe, bro, breathe. Somebody was saying recently that people put such a heavy weight on like dating, like it's it is dating if you go out and go on dates with people. Like it doesn't no, mean that you are in no, no, that's going on dates. That's not dating. Yeah, yeah but the process of going on dates, what is that called? Dates. Okay. <laughs> We're going out on a date. Continuous. What's the uh -huh. test? Talking stage. Eh, uh now -huh. people are saying people dating people is saying, when. That was exactly the person's speech. was like that. You guys keep saying talking stage, and it's actually like dating. No, like, I feel like dating is where you guys now say okay or oh, maybe okay. I hear it actually. I hear it. Talking stage. Like that's not exclusive talking, dating. Yes. Okay. Okay. I feel okay. that's why Lori having comes under a lot of fire. But people always say, ah, she's this is this, she's this like. But she's not. But she's like, just, she's just hanging here, right? Okay, what she do? Ah, based on that. But she's not give her one date. That was the person respects. It's cruel. But I like how this is. It's not like I know her, shall yeah. But they try it. Uh, you know, just what I used to call so myself is that makeup is an art. And actually, I don't have to, I'm not actually an artist. I'm actually not that good at. And yeah, you don't have to do it the way what is it? Just do it the way you know how to do it. As long as I'm not looking like kids. As long as you like what you look like. Exactly. What's this same thing? Is this a um, cinematic? Yes. Are you cinematic? I just realized that has it been blood since? Yes, actually, I think so. It's okay, I think... I can, the focus is in editing. Okay. You can edit the focus even after you already film this. Like, you can still focus on the character. Mm -hmm. Did you bring your foundation? No, I just bought powder. Mm -hmm. You need to powder your neck too. And my forehead. Yeah. I'll be back. Buy yellow and pink shoes. Enter my eye. It's terrible to work in this. It's not comfortable. It's yellow. Sheesh. You like a lot of platform. I think those are actually really cool. Ooh. The hits. Yes, 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 let's go. You know what's so great? Your dress matches the background, the art, and the yellow matches the art. So it's like you're part of the art. I know you're the main character, but can I sit down? <laughs> I feel I feel short. Mm -hmm. I think I should sit Let down. What did you drop it? Let me mic. Yeah. Guys, my name is Addison and this is Sola and welcome to today's episode. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the shadows. In the shadows, sh okay that's shadows, not shadows. <laughs> You want it from here? 
Can you feel the light at all? Yeah, but let me sit down because that was the issue. I took it on the chair. The light is a bit far. I need to increase it a little bit. I can still see shadows. Let's see. This part of the exhaustion I said that comes with creating content alone. You go back, walk back, walk back, go back. Okay, let's see. Did it happen to me that yeah. I filmed? Well, let's yeah. I filmed and I did not press record. You know when you silently cry? When you, you find out something happens, you are by yourself, then you just press, you just do. <laughs> it's you that cost it by yourself, so there's nobody to do it. Wait, show that. They are just like, okay. I'm gonna be Hello. Hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> to get this thing right. I love that you actually wore orange with it, actually. Yeah. I've always liked the earrings like this, or the Joan first. Yeah. Joan first, me for sure. <laughs> I think that period where you were posting and people used to ask about like oh your earrings and then Joanne's earrings and everything I, felt I so think proud. because because she started the business that's why I started to even like earrings because like yeah, to patronize her I didn't mean, see I started to like you because of that when you posted about all oh, that moving into a new apartment I was like in this economy <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me how's it been like how long has it been since you moved I think I moved was it third week in January or second week? I'm not even sure. I mean, honestly, will I say I've entirely moved in? I don't know because I'm still here and there. I still go back home, come back. Yeah. So, what's the something about like you move out but you still come to your parents' house? Like, what's your point? Or you still come to my uh, mom? Because. So, like, yeah, yeah, at least. Like, uh, at least you have somebody to go to, please. At times it can get very expensive, it can get very quiet. You just need, like, you know, love. Love and support. At least. Most of us have love at home, thank God. <laughs> we thank mm -hmm. God. Like, I remember before you went into like the old Big Brother thing, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that you, when we spoke last, like, because the way we even met was so, the way we started talking was so random, random. right? Yes. Yeah. So then I remember that you spoke about like wanting to do content and always having these ideas and mm -hmm. just wanting the platform. Mm -hmm. Is that what made you want to? Because mm. I mean, I've always liked social media content and. I started doing it before I went into the house anyway, but it yeah. wasn't like obviously like on a big like platform. I didn't have yeah, as many yeah. for a while. I had like yeah. what four thousand? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have as many. So it was more like I wanted to do it full time, like make money off it, be able to like live off just doing social media. Yes, I'm sure I make money off it. Yeah, for sure, because I mean this I'm passionate about it, but I have to make money as well. Is passion gonna pay your bills? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in a job at that point that I wasn't really interested in. What are you doing? I was working at Nissan. They were selling cars. Oh, yes, I remember when you were selling cars. I used to warn you that you should come and sell cars, or that you should let me come and steal cars. That you let me just come. <laughs> I mean, it was cool to learn like something new, like marketing. Somehow, somehow, I still, I still use it, right? Yeah. Even to market myself to brands. So, I, yeah. it was a good thing that I learned it. And then I also took a course on digital marketing. Oh, you did? Was, also, yeah. Which one? Coursera. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's like it I'm was, so boring. Can't, it, it takes a year. Because it was one of my friends at that point that really pushed me to finish it. And I'm happy that my I did. My friend got me to, you know, they, you know, like some of their courses, they ask you to pay money. Mm -hmm. Did you ever pay money? Did I pay money? You know, it, it was a few Google Digital. Okay, so oh, sorry, sorry, it wasn't Coursera, it was Google, Google Digital. Yeah, Google okay. Digital. So Coursera Zone, I was going to pay money for it. My friend was like, ah, I, mean, I was like, I'm not paying money for it. What if it's boring? My friend told me that she just spread them in me about how I'm poor and I'm living on $20 <laughs> every month. As for I'm living in third world country. Oh my God. So I actually wrote, she gave me template. I wrote the whole episode. After I did all of that and I did not give me the scholarship to do the courses, I still did not finish them. If you paid for it, you would have finished it. They were so boring. If you paid for it, you would have. We want to put my money in something. There's no way I'm not finishing it. I will never waste my money. I think that's my main motivation for going to the gym. I've paid money, so I must go. So these lights that I bought, all these tripods, all these lights, this, this, ah, that's like this college creation. You have to work cool because I spent <laughs> this light like this. This is me. This is me and the lights that knows how the, much I. The work. light that's powering this video. Like, ah yes, <laughs> because hmm. The time you use your money to do something, that that means I'm seriously invested in it and it has to work. Yes. It I saw that I saw that from a content creator one time. She was like, once you put your money, that's when you know that you mean business. Yeah. Because it, if it's free, I mean, of course, you still, scholarship is nice. Mm. But like, it, it, it's not taking anything from you. Yeah. But, although it's taking your time, you're reading. But you're not taking, you didn't take any anything from you. You don't invest in anything, yeah. so you don't feel so, the yeah, yeah, need to commit. Exactly. But if I, if I pay for something, you're like, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I have to do it. <laughs> wow, a fine girl. 
Oh my god, stop. She found it. Oh my god. Wow. You are killing me. <laughs> I am ready. Is it good? Yeah, I believe it's fine. You believe? Hold on, as you ask me now. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. I'm very I am very anxious about some kind of stupid things. I just feel like how much I still recording to now. Oh, they ask me to shoot. It was a said phone storage. You used to be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they're doing whatever they're doing, but it's like, it's done. Oh, it's done. Oh, no, you're giving me, you're triggering me right now. What happened to me? Like, you know, all my vlogs, they are doing come from here, come from here. I, I used to do it like 10 times. Sometimes I almost have to make a series twice because I want to eat this in every day. Nah, creative content is work. That's crazy. It's so much work. Let me tell you, recently, because I'm filming a video to launch a campaign, right? Mm -hmm. To launch something, a product. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple of people to come and sit down on camera. They thought it was like that. Mm -hmm. To sit down and be talking for the camera, distress, mm -hmm. distress. I saw also people thought that it's like that, right? People it's, don't know it's, that it's it work. Work. Mm -hmm. it Takes a lot of work to get comfortable for the camera. Just look at it like a, like you're talking to your friends. Yeah. Have you gotten used to it? I think so. I think to an extent. I mean, when I'm still alone, do I still like you know bite my tongue when I'm trying to talk, or do I still laugh at at what is not funny when I'm alone? Yes, of course. I have to still re <laughs> record things like. 10 times before I guess it's right. Yeah. So maybe not as comfortable as, as I would like, but I'm getting, I mean, I use TikTok to practice. When, I'm, when I do my makeup, I'm talking to them. When I'm going out, I'm talking on the road. So it's, I'm, I'm getting a bit more comfortable. I really like TikTok, by the way. That's you really like way. TikTok? What are your favorite creators on TikTok? What do you enjoy most on TikTok? I enjoy, um, I like watching cooking videos, even if I can't cook. I really like it. And then I enjoy um, family creators as well. Those ones that have like cute children. Because I really like children. So I really enjoy like coaching. Well, I think my own kids next up once they have kids. Once they see kids have kids, I'm like, ah! that's even the more reason why I <laughs> tend to this um this, co this couple on YouTube. I never used to watch the channel, but really they had a son. I don't know why, but I fell in love with the entire family. Uh, and, I, and now I, I watch them every night because they post every like two today. What's their name? Connect. Lisa and Quan. Lisa and Quan. Lisa. Lisa and Quan. They have two kids' sons. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I love children. It's crazy. Do you think about how many kids you want? You want to have? I think I want to have three. Yeah, I think about it. Do you know what's so funny? Three in this economy. Well, for you. <laughs> please, billionaire in the making. Please, billionaire in the making. Please. Yeah, I think three. I want to have twins as well. So yeah, three children. I think that would be if, three, three or two. If I get a boy and a girl, twins, I'm done. But if I get like two boys or two girls, if I want. If were horses. I know, right? <laughs> when people that love kids, right, have kids, I think that's been a lot of the discussion people have been having recently that you could just, why do you want to have kids? You could just want to have kids for having kids' sake. And then you could release children onto the world and then you don't even. Can't take care of them. Can't take care of them and they'll discuss about like you want to make the children to live your own lives or whatever selfish reasons that you blame them. I hear you, yeah. So, but I think it's nice when people that, when people that really want kids, like me now, it's like I have anything against kids, but like, um indifferent about yeah yeah Which i really fair. love my nephews yeah. so much but like, i grew to can. love them okay i hear you <laughs> yeah. the same way i love kids the same way some people don't want to have kids and i re and i respect it because things that you want to do and that and i that i don't want to do on switch is on exactly what does you enjoy on tiktok watching skits like i like um so so on tiktok also follow on instagram i like lai on tiktok as well I like Shank. Is that his name? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shank Comics. Exactly. I don't know girls that have fun that that are able to like you know record their life like it's. I mean, it is fun, but mm -hmm. I like, just record them and like, it's fun to watch. Exactly. Lives. I love watching them. You're going on a walk. You're going yeah, to the gym in the morning, six a.m. Yes. I'm just like, God, I want to be like this girl, but like I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like so busy. I feel like I'm able to do things with their friends also. Yeah, exactly. It's not about like relationship. Mm. Yeah, because the world is getting to a place where people feel like they don't need romantic love to like be happy to be happy which is fair like i hear it because it's not like it's not only about having like you know a relationship or being with somebody there are different ways you can you can express love and also experience love <laughs> Sign, Alice, <gasps> please don't kill me please i think you said one time that alice is actually your how do you come up with alice yeah it's my um when my parents gave me an, an English name that I'm, I'm, not, I'm never going to mention in this world, <laughs> but that that I didn't like. She told me I can't remember it right now. So when I was, I hope that that girl is crazy. <laughs> then 
when I went to secondary school, I watched a movie, and then the person's name was Addison. Oh, Addison, and then I was just like, hmm. Then I had Alice in here and there. I was like, I feel like that name is perfect for me. So then I took it to my parents about it, and then they loved it, and then that's it. That's how I got. And it. you got registered? Is it registered? It's not my best name, but it's on some of us. It's I don't want to call me Alison, it's just like, oh, I'm sure you know me. <laughs> I like it, and I like the way also, like, because it's AA, Alison Aldo, and then yeah. the way it also goes. I remember how we had to be dragging people to spell the Alison name correctly. Right. Yeah. yeah. I only watched it because of you, and you only was the only um. one I ever watched. Oh, um, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, to support my friend, it's all right, who's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Ah. I, had the, I had the best support. I remember when I came out of the house and um, I had a therapy session, right? And the and the guy was asking me about how like um, what if I go back home? Some of my colleagues that were in the house together have more followers than I do. Maybe I have like one or something. Maybe they have like six hundred or something. Like, how will I feel? I'm just like, guy. If I went into the house, I had four thousand. If I had like eighty thousand, I'm that is like a you freaking know. win. Now like, you start competing yourself with like, as in comparing yourself here and there. Oh, I wish I had a person's follower. That's why it's, 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 it's a struggle because even if I had that much, that many followers, it's what I would do now that I was, I was, I was, I was still done then. So I'm like, it's not about how many, it's about the fact that I have people watching me now. I have people that like me enough to follow me, that like me enough to like see me win. So it's, it's about how I'm able to use the platform in guys of if, yeah yeah so it's, they don't have bigger platforms and they don't do much with it yes i'm just like it's not about how how like how many followers it's about how many people connect to your community and a lot of brands that believe in your brand and, you know create quality content put it out there and um, i always wanted to be in this industry somehow i always wanted to be in the entertainment industry i'm almost happy that i'm like i get invited to like this event i never take it for granted the other day Remember when I used to, when I first started modeling, I used to and send an email to Orange Culture and I used to be like, oh my god, I really like to model for you. Help me. I really like the, <laughs> I, really, I really like your brand. I mean I I'm I, I love Orange Culture. And then one day I would be a little great gem for him from him and I'm just like, am I dreaming? And it's like I would like for you to come to my event. I almost died. And I was calling Joanna, I'm just like, you won't believe what just happened. Because she knew like how much like I liked the the brand yeah. bio and I'm just like, yeah. you won't believe what just happened. And then it's just like when I, went for, when I went for the show and like I, I as I, I met him, we hugged, he knew my name. It was like eh? that is crazy. And then see, he just sent me like this, like an outfit. Yeah. I'm just like, like, is this life? And then just like <laughs> at times I get some DMs and I'm just like, nah, like somebody's definitely pushing something in the in the other in the spiritual realm. Yeah. I mean photographers I always wanted to work with just reach out to me, just like, oh, you like to shoot? I'm just like Eh? You're joking. Like, I have your name written down on my book of people that want to shoot with. Of course, I want to shoot with you. <laughs> so, just like, it's just, I'm just really grateful that I'm able to, like, you know, do the things I always wanted to do. Yeah. And people even recognize people that I don't know know my name. Yeah. Like, I go out and call, like, oh, hi, how I'm just like, you know me. Like, I still can't believe that. A lot of people that reach out to you, do you also reach out to be like pitch to brands? Yeah, of course. Of course. As a content creator, of course. So, I always pitch that as part of our weekly jobs we send email oh can you yeah of course you know some of them come to some of them not yet i just feel like in due time they will come still will come so too. but do you feel like you make new friends still like as you stayed very close to joe mm -hmm. right and like your other circle of friends like you have your friends that are other influencers mm -hmm. and photographers and other creatives mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but we are very lucky too. did you curate your friends to be one mm -hmm. creative friends oh my god no i don't <laughs> I actually have don't it. have non-creative friends. No, most of my friends, photographer, stylist. Yes, I don't have non-creative friends. Did you just realize? It? I say I'm, I'm just realizing it that I don't have non-creative friends. Because like when you have people that are neutrals, they also encourage you to be able to yes. scale up in the way you want to, and they also yeah. understand what you want to be and why you want to be there. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I hear you. I think that's yeah. a good thing. And most of my friends are actually yeah. yeah. I'm just, like just realizing now that most of my friends are creative. Yeah, I mean, I have friends in tech as well. But I mean, they're still creative. I see them as, I mean, yeah, you're designing an app. They're creative. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that we're able to, you know, just leave work behind and just have a good time. And, yeah, and like most of my friend, I think the first time I met you was like with your surprise birthday party. Mine? That was the first time I met you. Are you serious? Oh, my yes. brothers? Yes. But we knew on Instagram already. Yes, that was the first time I met you. In real life. Okay, okay, I hear you. Yeah, have been talking online and everything. Yeah. And was like, that wants to surprise you. I think I even bought my partner. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did, you did. I remember. Because we went out, I was like, okay, we we'll have to I remember. That That's why I met him now. Yeah, yes. yeah, I remember, I remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very, like, um, hangout, my friend. Because I feel like 
in this like the way the world is right now you need like people that you can just have peace around like people that can just give you like peace of mind people that you can just be yourself around that you can you can talk about like anything in this world about and that's how that's that's what most of my friends represent in my life they're like my peace like my safe space i can just call them they want to come around just chill drink a bottle of wine just talk laugh go to the beach eat food and like when you're done with that day you come back home and you feel like okay i really have like beautiful people it's around about me. when you yeah. have your friends it makes yeah. you feel like oh wow life is also bad exactly. like, after not, all yeah like now i'm married people for instance you and your partner go to work separately when you come back home just having the, just knowing that you're going home to somebody yes. is nice so that's how my friends feel to me i think i'm going to see my friends tomorrow i'm already happy from now yeah i'm already like oh my god i I'm can't say, see them. we just sit yeah. down and just talk about what we, we would have talked about maybe a hundred times we can be a person on our phone oh. but we're in the same space like is it once i get to i'm like wow i had a fantastic time yeah, i know <laughs> i've been like feel that way. having good friends and, and that's why as my friend Maybe that would just why I don't have a love life because they're just everything. Like I, don't, like I feel like I don't need like any any extra like to feel good yeah. or to feel like I mean. Yeah. Then people be like, oh, you don't really need like friends. And it's like I relate. Sorry, like my friends are my life. I can't I can't do without them. Sorry, like I need them. Do you have like different friends for different things? Mm, do I? No, I don't think so. No, I, I want my friends are always down to do everything because because they're like me. I remember when I had one show on my YouTube that is called Everything with Alison, where I see 30 people. Yeah. My only fear with presenting is that I talk too fast, so it might affect me. But if I tend to like talk little by little, then it works. Some people but, yeah. speak even faster. I yeah. think it also depends with your audience. Sometimes they get used to it. Yeah. I remember when I was I did internship at Video very briefly. Every time I spoke to this um their manager, the general manager. Every time I speak, you would not tell me, hey, sit, Relax. say it again. Oh, like, you always make me say it again. And that was like very frustrating. Yeah. But at the same time, I think it depends. Like, okay, mm -hmm. my colleague was telling me about how normally whenever I speak to him, he has to slow down what I'm saying in real time. But that when I'm on camera, like when it's time to actually film something mm -hmm. for content, mm -hmm. I he could hear me clearly, clearly. that. Mm -hmm. How is that? I'm like, I have a. When I'm talking in person, I even um, have the way I speak fast when I'm on this channel. <laughs> if I want to do something for work, I will enunciate this is work. <laughs> so I think it depends on how. I just have a very good speaking voice. Thank like you. have a very like like you need to see you. My colleagues are always calling me OAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give that vibe. I consider the OAP more than I that more than me. Good. Do I? I went for that interview. I went for the OAP interviews. I went for TV interviews yeah. before. If I decide to do like me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people that do they still find me bothering because like because they're passionate say, about yes, it. Yes, they're passionate and also because And depends on what you what to do with the platform. Platform. You meet people from that job a lot. Celebrities yes. come, you're yes. invited to events, depends on yes. what you do with that platform. Some people live there and become big time influencers, yes. content creators. So it yes, depends on it's about the job gives you exposure, forget about yes. the money. Yes. I feel like it's, it's how to build your brand. After like you know this baby sweet okay? Yes. Beautiful. Like she works in radio, but yeah. she's able to she's a host, yes. content creator. Yeah. She also has a brand. She's yeah. making like you can tell that she's, she's doing she has well. grown. So she's able to like build her brand. That's why I love her so much. From like radio she has gone. Yes. I love to see people grow. Yeah. And I think that that's something else with you also, right? I've seen the way you create content, like with your fashion content, mm -hmm. with your lifestyle content. Don't be, don't be shy <laughs> no but seriously when i saw the one with bernard where you guys were filming like we were cooking it's easy mm -hmm. i love that it was very more into lifestyle because i know that a lot of times people use you for because because I, I used to modeling you're used to doing like fashion related mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. but i like to see more of lifestyle because i think that you're very adventurous actually and you want to do I yeah I, don't I, mean, I don't know if i'm adventurous like you guys First of all, getting on that bloody thing, that could have never been my idea and it was your idea we should do for Joanne. <laughs> I almost died I after. <laughs> but I think even tried to go on that, you yeah. like how many things there. Yeah, no, I did it well. I, I quit. I was like, ah, okay, actually, I've tried Because I wanted, I didn't want to go because I'm like, if I give up, everybody here, I'm going to I'm going to put everybody together. Yes. <laughs> everyone is going to do it, I'm like, no, we can't, we can't let you do it. I'd rather do it and cry. I, I cry after every ride. <laughs> I mean, after you and I was sitting, I would cry my eyes out, but I was still going the next one. Cause I don't believe in my. I'm very brave. I mean, I'm just like, and this year I was like, I don't want to focus too much on fashion, yeah. cause I feel like, like from last year, I some people that I go back to for like content. Yeah. Like I always, I always go back to you as well, and like you feel like if I let my personality show more. Yeah, that's Instagram. what I'm saying. 
is better. So I'm just like, I okay, see more okay, let me see. That's why I'm vlogging more these yeah. days. Like, see, see I look forward to it. No, I look forward to it. I think that you have such a great personality. Like, from the first time I met you, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I like Alison so much. I like to read off of vibes. It's not really yeah. like what you say, but like also how you do. Because, like, even when people say, oh, somebody is shy, like, I don't mind that, oh, you don't talk or anything. I pay attention to, like, a person's energy, how yeah. they are open to others. And I think yeah. you're a very open person. I think that's also helped with your brand and everything. You are shy, but there's also confidence in it. Because I think you know, there was a lot of. I feel like you never really build, like, um, you never really build confidence. Yeah, I feel like it's a continuous process, right? And from this way, I'm like, I feel like, oh my God, like, I'm the most confident person I can do whatever. And so this is I walk into a room, we are up right there and I'm bending my head. So it's just about like it's about understanding that as I most I like to be good at what I do. Like I like to understand that I'm the best, like I've taken the right steps to be here. I yeah. I, deserve I deserve to, to be, be here. here. It's not actually not giving me because of oh I have this influence. If I go somewhere, I see that other people are there, people that have been in the for so long. I'm really just like, okay, it's not as if you for people that anybody would have gone, right? But it's not about like, okay, um, I went. It's about the fact that I've been working before I went for Big Brother. I know the kind of quality content that I make. So it's not even I don't deserve to be here. It's not because of all the people that I'm here. And I also do like this, um, what's the, what's of, um, what they call affirmation. it? Affirmation. Affirmation, yeah. That's really, that's really helped me. Where I recommend I'm not kind of, I'm looking more and I'm I am like, healthy, I am I'm healthy, beautiful, I am this, I'm the, I'm the best at what I do, I'm this one, I'm that one. And even if some people think it's stupid, whether you do it and you go out, you just feel like, it's almost like, yeah, when looks, you say something enough times, you believe, you believe it. it exactly. If I go out now and someone is like, "Oh, Alice, I don't like, I don't like your head, or I don't like the fact that you cut your hair," okay, I'm like, "Are you blind?" Because <laughs> like, I'm like, "This is, this is gold." Like, are you blind? So it's about like the fact that I've looked at myself, I like it. Yes. I've been able to go into it. Yes. Now I've reached a good stage, and you're still not telling that you don't like. Are you fucking blind? <laughs> or you telling me that you don't like my piercing? Like, are you blind? So I've been able to like understand that I deserve to be a person that I am, and I'm and I'm good at what I do. Yeah. And I mean, some days I'm still I'm still very shy. I just keep quiet. I don't feel like I deserve I deserve to be yeah. something. But some days I'm like I do. I mean, I we all have bad have... and good days. Yeah. But I have more good days. Today. I'm very happy because before I used to be, I grew up a bit timid. I think I was saying. Okay. So it's very hard for me to like understand that. And I also had like self-esteem issues growing up. So it took me a while to like understand that i am this and for me to even find myself like what i'm good at this is what fits me this is exactly what i should be doing it's okay oh so when you find like what's good for you i think it just helps and your people as well yeah so people, people that will always my... encourage you and will always yeah. you know, when you don't feel good they'll be like wow you look so good and yeah like, this, you i think like i lied to me you generally believe that i look good or yeah. i deserve to be yeah. because sometimes where well, i feel but i just call my mom and be like oh i feel like i don't she's like what are you saying or my sister or my friends they're yeah. like hey oh my brother so they're always there to like you know ginger me and let me know that i deserve to be here and they're always proud and i can literally see anything of me at the time she's like ah so that just makes you feel good that you know yeah I'm, uh, yeah so i mean it's a process but yeah. i hope that i'm i become the most comfortable my most comfortable self very my most confident self very soon but yeah <laughs> i think that's so nice <laughs>